This is Maria Patricia Juan Rodriguez. I am a social communicator and journalist, and I am now dedicated to researching and informing about Lyme disease because I suffer from this illness, and I want to share my findings with others who are suffering like me. I did not find answers, nor was I able to recover after many years of going to different doctors and trying different treatments. So this is the first of a series of videos and documentaries we are going to present to bring information and ideas that can help people understand and recover from this disease. We will also mention and bring information about other so-called chronic illnesses, such as MS, chronic fatigue syndrome, fibromyalgia, lupus, Morgellons, autism, and other serious complications such as ALS and Parkinson's, because research has shown they will have common causes and symptoms. One of this is parasitic infections. So now new studies have found Lyme disease is a multi-complex infection, not only bacterial, but where parasites invade the red blood cells and use them to travel to the brain, the heart and the organs, plus the digestive tract, bones and muscles. And if these parasites are not treated properly with antimalarials anti malarials and or herbs, people cannot recover, and this is what is considered chronic. Also, if you learn that the bacteria Borrelia gets inside the white blood cells and shuts down the immune system, whatever parasites you have in your body are now going to grow and reproduce without any control. Researchers like Dr. Eva Sapi and Dr. Stephen Fry are even saying that the cause of most of these diseases are protosomes, and these are malaria-like organisms very hard to eradicate. This information is not in the old books of medicines, nor in the guidelines made to treat these diseases, and this is the reason people like me are not recovering. Expert parasitologists like Dr. Omar Amin and other doctors like the Colombian Dr. Jorge Quintero state that the rule for treating complex infection diseases is to start by treating the parasites first. Treat the bigger organisms so the immune system can be able to fight the other infections. This short video is one of the main treatments Dr. Dietrich Klinghorn recommends to treat for parasites in Lyme disease and in chronic infections. We hope it can be of good help to you. Parasite treatment here yeah, is the use of freeze dried garlic. It's a high allicin containing freeze dried garlic yeah, from BioPure. So it's, it's one to two capsules dissolved in a little bit of water, put in a bulb syringe, putting at night up the rear. And then people graduate and adding a little bit, 100 to 200 milligrams of artemisinin. In with that. It needs to be dissolved, it's all nice and liquid, yeah. and it has a fantastic effect in cleaning out parasites from the liver, which always should be the first step. And then two, three, four weeks into that, uh, people start taking Mimosa pudica. It's a fern. In Hawaii it's called the sensitive plant. It's a fern, you touch it and it contracts. It's a common plant in the more southern places of the U.S. But, you know, famous in Ayurvedic medicine and other, other schools. So How we use, use one that? to two grams twice a day as a drink. Usually I mix it with yogurt. That's my parasite treatment. People have to do that for a year to two, not for a week or two like it's taught. Is it every in, day or, or once a week? It's or? every day. Oh, it's every day. You don't want to give the creatures any break.